Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. I choose Phoenix. Hello and welcome to an episode of Why It Matters brought to you by Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. I'm Terry Tucker and I'm very excited to bring this episode to you today. My guest is Dr. Damon Hirschberger and you're with the Heartland Women's Group. That's correct. So what does the Heartland Women's Group do? So we're an obstetrics and gynecology practice, full okay. service, um, general obstetrics and gynecology. So we deliver lots and lots of babies. Lots of babies. Um, we do also major pelvic surgeries. So um, full service women's health care. Oh, that's awesome. So I obviously am a potential customer, right? So what do you wish I knew? What do you wish every woman knew that would help you all be more successful in improving the lives of your patients? So actually, you know, Patients nowadays are very educated, okay. um, and they come in um, even more prepared than they uh, used to with the internet and um, all of the resources out there for whatever condition they <coughs> um, need treated or, or evaluated for. But yeah, it would really depend on um, the type of patient and, and what, what kind of issue you have. If it was a patient that was pregnant and uh, was uh, planning to deliver a baby and trying to uh, formulate and uh, get ready for uh, that brand new life. They um, may have questions surrounding the delivery. Um, something uh, that we're seeing a lot of nowadays is that as uh, time has gone on, um, uh, patients, and rightfully so, are seeking more of a hands-off approach in, in delivery. Um, as long as it's safe, of course, we try to facilitate that. And I uh, actually have a, a large portion of patients that um, uh, we're considering home births that, wow. that decide to come and deliver yeah. either in the hospital or at the Wesley Birth Care Center. Um, and I think something that's really important for those patients to know is that we can do that. We can facilitate Whatever's a very right. hands-off yeah. approach, um, but at the same time providing safety um, and um, kind of that uh, that backstop just in case things were to um, take a turn. But that has changed because I wanted absolutely. to be able to say epidural uh, as it, right. loudly as I could yep. in my day and age. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not alone in that either. There's, there's plenty of patients that... Um, uh, also, rightfully so, um, they, they, they want um, the most support uh, possible from a medical standpoint, and um, we can provide that. We're in a position to provide that, but at the same time, for those patients that um, aren't as interested in or may be fearful of medical intervention, um, uh, You've got the, them. yeah, You've that's got them. Uh, that's something that we're able to provide, and um, and you know, I would encourage all patients to have a delivery at the hospital or at the birth care center um, next to the hospital, um, just in case. Um, sure. But uh, um, yeah, it's exciting. That's a neat, that's, that's neat. One, yeah. That's one half of our specialty. And the other half is of course, non-pregnant patients with um, any number of women's health issues. Sure. Um, and that, that could be anything as, as minor as, you know, starting contraception or um, help with bothersome uh, periods and all the way to major surgery. Right. So. So you know what I think is really cool about your organization too is as a woman, I understand that uh, sometimes you go into an OBGYN office and it's obviously all about babies. Mm -hmm. And you as that older woman that have an issue, I mean, it's just, you feel like you don't belong. Right. And so I really, I'm like, ooh. So I really love that you do marry those two things mm -hmm. together and make that bridge. Yeah, our practice is pretty uh, well split. My, my partners and I all do about 50% obstetrics or delivering babies and, and uh, patients who are pregnant. Um, and the other half is, is, um, is, is truly full service women's health. So um, we're, uh, our practice in general is very high volume when it comes to surgery. Sure. Um, um, much higher volume than, than a large portion of the practices around. So our practice does cater to patients who are no longer having babies. Having babies. They've yeah. already had yeah. our babies. Yeah, That's absolutely. good. But what a neat, what a neat balance of both of those things. It's so exciting. you've seen changes in the industry as a whole through the years? Absolutely. So, you know, when I uh, was in training um, and uh, between med school and residency, uh, minimally invasive uh, surgeries were uh, becoming more and more popular and most recently the um, da Vinci robot has, yes. uh, provided a minimally invasive option um, to patients that was you know prior to that wasn't available um, the uh, robot allows us to do very very complicated procedures that would have required a large laparotomy incision yeah. um, um, uh, even eight years ago um, it, it, uh, it's exploded in the and just under the last decade so um, 
that's something that uh, a lot of patients aren't aware of when we um, do get to that point where a patient uh, needs or requires a, a hysterectomy. Um, that surgery used to require, you know, almost up to oh, a, a week hospitalization, right. uh, and then and months and months of yeah. recovery, really. And nowadays, those patients go home the same day from the hospital. Wow! So, yeah. Yeah, what a change that's been. Yeah, it's very exciting. Well, what a wonderful industry and what a wonderful contribution you make. And doctor, we thank you for joining us no, today. Thank you. And we thank you for joining us on Why It Matters, a service brought to you by Phoenix Home Care and Hospice, where we like to focus on those moments that matter most of all. Thank you for joining us. Phoenix Home Care and Hospice. I choose Phoenix.